the Time Lords at their badass. <clears throat> YouTube and welcome to what is another Doctor Who regeneration review. So today I'm reviewing Doctor Who The War Games. Starring Patrick Troughton, written by Terence Dick and Malcolm Hulk, Terence Dix and Malcolm Hulk, and directed by David Maloney. Also starring Fraser Hines and Wendy Padbury, something like that. So, originally aired between April 19th to June the 21st, 1969 on BBC One. So it's two discs on this and it's a ten part serial. Now, in Patrick Troughton's run with some of the serials I do think a few of them were a bit too long um, <clears throat> you know like The Invasion was 8 episodes and this is 10 a 10 part serial these days it'd be a complete season but yeah that's how Doctor Who was shown back then so um, <clears throat> what it is is the Doctor, Jamie and Zoe um, end up uh, in World War One and that's pretty much the whole plot of episode one and then like throughout each episode they go into different war zones so based then they know that there that there's various war zones as World War One the civil the American Civil War um you know a Roman war even they're all just war games and there's these people like the general of the World War One zone and that all the leaders in each of the armies are all well they turn out to be Time Lords there's the villain there's the war chief who we think is the main villain first but then we soon discover that he's just the tip of the iceberg and the actual villain <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. The actual villain is the Warlord. Uh, now there's... Now the Doctor eventually discovers all these war zones. Let's, I'll read the plot summary here. The TARDIS lands... The TARDIS has materialised in a world of trenches... Trench... Trench warfare... Yeah, trench warfare, battle beds, wires, battle bed wires, bar bed, bar bed wires or something. Oh, barbed wire. Barbed wire, poison gas, western front. Yeah, western front, 1917. <coughs> God, i got a frog in my throat. In the... Chows of Pandora's. Oh, hang on, paranoid, paranoid, or summit The th of the first. Paranoia of the First World War. The Doctor and his companions are separated from their ship captured and caught caught and militated and caught and summer I can't read the bloody word the death sentence is swiftly pronounced but all is not as it seems the doctor finds himself in in, in oh God's sake, why have they got so many complicated words? Is 
but finds himself in case incertainly or I can't read the bloody word out of his debt and facing impossible odds the only solution truly is a truly unthinkable it's truly unthinkable he must seek help from those he most fears his own people the time lords so <clears throat> god um so by episode seven or is it episode eight or something anyway he summons his people the time lords to come because this is these are time lords missing with time zones the time lords catch those criminals and they put everyone back into their war zones and erase their memories then the war chief the war chief as well saw that the warlord was just using him as a pawn so he teams up with the doctor and kicks ass uh, with him so that's what he does and what else can i say um so yeah the, then in like the last two episodes we finally go for the first time ever to gallifrey and we see his people the time lords at their badass <clears throat> Of course, this was in the days before they had the big collars and stuff. Pretty much the 70s. So the Time Lords put the Doctor on trial. They they wipe the War Lord away from existence. And then they, like, put the Doctor on trial. Um, and as part of his sentence, and whilst they're deciding what to do, the Doctor, Jamie and Zoe, beg the Doctor to make a break for it. But unfortunately, they can't get away. And Jamie and Zoe, spoiler alert, are taken back to their rightful time zones with only remembering the first encounter they had with the Doctor. So, the Time Lords, they put him on trial and he begged. He begged them, saying that there's evil out there in the universe. Then he shows, like, pictures of the Daleks, the Cybermen, and many of the monsters that he's encountered throughout the, throughout the 60s run. So... Then the Time Lords come to the decision, they decide to accept his plea, but, and then he'll be sent to Earth in the 20th century, to there, but he will be in exile, so he couldn't leave, he was Earthbound. Not only that, but part of the sentence was to change his appearance, and that's where the regeneration comes in. Now, this wasn't called, they didn't use that name, the regeneration, back then, because they first used that in the 1974 serial, Planet of the Spides. I think I said that yesterday, in yesterday's episode. So, um, what else can I tell you on that? So, yeah, they give him a, a variety of choices. Uh, to pick, he w he doesn't pick because they're not being fair, so they force him to regenerate and change his appearance. Now, this was also the first time where we noticed that this doesn't have to happen when a Time Lord is near death. They can control this, it can happen at will. So, the Doctor is forced to regenerate, and it's a bit of a, well, probably disturbing for the 60s. But yeah, it's all swirly and stuff, he's spinning and that. And then that's it for the second Doctor. They were planning on ending Doctor Who there and then in 1969. But the BBC couldn't think of anything new. So they renewed Doctor Who for another season. Now it was an off-screen transition because they were planning to end it. But they decided to bring it back. New series, new Doctor. And for the first time in 1970 in colour. Now the whole post-regeneration is in the next serial spearheads from space which isn't lost like power of the daleks and that's when the third doctor john pertwee has his first outing but we see that the that but yeah so we learned that the regeneration doesn't have to happen near death it can happen whenever so yes doctor who so doctor who the war games i am going to give it um let's see I'm going to give Doctor Who the War Games, um, I'm going to give it, 
yeah, I'm going to give this three and a half out. Three Roman soldiers charging towards the Doctor out of... Yeah, three Roman soldiers charging towards the Doctor and that out of five. So that's been my review on Doctor Who The War Games. So join me next time where I'm going to be reviewing Planet of the Spiders. Where the third Doctor will regenerate and when they will use that term for the first time. So till then. And next, till, so yeah, till next time. Goodbye friends, goodbye. Oh yes, don't forget to click down below to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, you can follow me up on social media, Facebook, Twitter, so you can stay up to date with me and see what I get up to outside of the YouTube world. So yeah, be sure to do all that. Shh.